is so excited for you and Hustlers. Are you on cloud nine right now? Cloud 10, maybe. Yes, absolutely. I heard you talking about getting your dress tailored to your short self. I'm like, welcome to the club. And I'm shorter than you and I got on heels. I'm just saying. I'm, I, it, they got to take at least like a foot and a half off of everything that, that, that comes up my body. It's, it's crazy. And let me just say, I'm a little salty oh. that you weren't recognized in other areas. But I recognize you as a female film critic of color. I recognize you, and I recognize your work, and I thought what you did with Hustlers was fan freaking tastic Well, thank you. That means a lot to me. It really does. It means so much to, to get the reaction from so many different people. So, it, yeah, it's, it's meaningful. It really is. And to see Jen be recognized in this way, it is certainly a win for the movie. Absolutely. What is your favorite filmmaker to date? Bong Joon-ho. <laughs> easy answer. Um, I, I just saw Atlantic's though, uh, Maddie Diop, who is her first film, uh, it really got me. So um, I'm rooting for Parasite probably all year. Yeah. And how important do you think film independent is to the big landscape of cinema making in general? It's everything. I mean, uh, it's it's about celebrating what it is to build something from the ground up and, and, and that kind of grassroots, scrappy filmmaking that's sort of required to certainly get any movie made, but, but uh, the kinds of stories that people don't necessarily know should be told, the kinds of stories that um, aren't uh, easy sells, that people don't automatically assume uh, has value, I think those are the stories that um, that get recognized at, at, at award shows like this. So. Well, you're a scrappy filmmaker, and I'm looking forward to what else this scrappy filmmaker is going to come out with. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.